not in real life. It's my friend's house. I'm in high school. I'm in high school. I'm in high school. as a co-chair and co-host of the Strong Women Sunday Brunch. We are so appreciative of you all being here on such an important week having a voice, taking a stand, and celebrating strong people, strong women specifically. So I'm joined here today by a number of really incredible heart liberals, but what's a bleeding heart conservative? So my short answer is MJ. <laughs> <laughs> the response I typically have on what it means to be a bleeding heart, in other words, the desire to have the desire to help others. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Dozens and dozens of issues out there in the political policy landscape, a bleeding heart conservative finds his or herself landing somewhere right of center, and therefore given our conservative. After all, liberal policies are not the only ones which seek to offer progress for individuals and for society. For these reasons and more, which help others is a testament to her leadership and values. New York City needs MJ, a true bleeding heart conservative, to bring out its best. A two second break before I introduce Robin to just uh, shout out a few really incredible people in the room, and I apologize if I miss anyone. Um, Your parents. A mere second. Wealth manager at US Trust by day, and involved with a number of amazing philanthropic endeavors at night. Um, my dear friend Robin Polanski, who's also recently. Super thrilled to see this wonderful room supporting MJ. Um, we've known each other for, for many, many years, and if there's anyone that has a, a truer heart and a pure intention, it's supporting women. We're supporting strong women. So I spent the first 15 years of my career in investing in a world of all men, um, and it was a game for me to get made it my mission for people in New York and outside to bring their investment portfolios in. Um, in alignment with their values. He works full time, but um, also volunteers full time and does such amazing work. And I'll let her introduce herself. So, Miss Sandy Singer. Um, MJ actually, to me, embodies passion and purpose and meaning in everything she does. It's definitely somebody that I look to. Thirteen different countries around the world, bringing people together that have been directly impacted by terrorism. Um, it came as a personal passion for me as I survived a terrorist attack 13 years ago overseas. Anything that somebody in our group needs, and I think that translates into anything that she puts her mind to. And I think it's really important that, you know, as we see what's going on in the world, and I grew up in need to really move things in a way that's going to change the future for the next generation. And I think that MJ has that drive to really make that happen. And I think that it's really important. I have such good friends, someone like MJ, that is doing something like this and really putting her money where her mouth is and, and showing action. And I think we can all learn human rights and finding love in New York City, which takes a lot of strength and fortitude. Um, I, I've been focused on uh, being a tremendous role model, connector, inspiration to me um, in becoming more involved in local issues and services which is a um, wonderful organization here locally that helps commercially sexually exploited um, girls and young women, some of these kids. Um, I actually learned through working on the article, which MJ enabled me to write by introducing me to Rachel, I learned that um, the word prostitute leader who can um, can, can be a pioneer for us locally in MJ, and so um, to to support her, to be here. Robin Plants, he was the one who came up with the name of this event, and um, we planned Strong Woman Sunday long before um, the presidential election, long before the marches, and being heard on the streets. And that made me proud, because we live in a democracy, right? It doesn't matter whether you're a Republican, a Libertarian, a Democrat, um, and especially the women in this room in particular, who I'll address first, we face a unique set of challenges. Um, and not these challenges are very different than some of the other ones. In the morning, I'm the last to leave. I put in the hours. I'm bringing in the numbers. And the guys around me are still getting promoted, but I'm not. And these are some of the unique challenges that we face. Humans matter. I don't care where you stand or what you say or what you believe or where you march or where you shop. What matters to me is that we can, when we're working together, have a new at all those jobs because we're strong women and that's what we do. 
my dear friend Joe often reminds me that it's progressives on both sides of the aisle that are responsible for our greatest legislative achievements at all those jobs because we're strong women and that's what we do. My dear friend Joe often reminds me that it's progressives on both sides of the aisle that are responsible for our greatest legislative achievements.